How's it going gamer? You got hands here and today in Donlins we're going over an Agarus hammer build that I think is one of the best builds for his hammer and man it goes hard. It's got great attack speed, great damage and if you throw catalyst on it instead of conduit, whoo! I'm talking about an awesome hammer build that is not boring, that is not slow, that doesn't feel like you're just swinging around a bag of bricks. No, it's dropping big damage and it is super fun. And remember, if you don't like Berserker or if you don't have it or you don't want to use it, you can definitely add another Wild Frenzy to add a plus six to make it even a faster attack speed build with slightly less damage, but it'll still be effective. So turn on your system, grab your hammer, and let's get ready. We're about to get in this video right now, y'all. What is up gamers hands at you with another build today this time we're rocking the unsteady ground which is Agarus's hammer and man this is a really awesome hammer and I really loving it especially because we bonded to Skarns so you're gonna throw an overpower cell and a wild frenzy cell in there and for the special I would suggest using mighty landbreaker for a little bit more damage but if you prefer to help out your team definitely try out Ironheart line breaker or concussive salvo if you want to be able to interrupt more easily which is really nice for the mod definitely use extended clip if you have it it's really dope and for the bond like I said this is why I love it because it has Skarn's bond to it and gives it a plus three knockout king and not only that it gives us a shield upon doing damage which we're throwing down crazy damage and yeah these are low life builds but because we're doing so much damage you're gonna have an over 1000 hell shield all the time if you can maintain the damage for the headpiece we're doing Resicuries as a conduit and you're gonna put a berserker cell for the chest piece, that's Shroud's chest, that has a rage, you're going to put an overpower cell. The arms are Malcarions, that has a predator, and you're going to put another predator cell. And these are Charog's legs, and you're going to put a discipline cell in there. And we're definitely using Embermane's lantern for the increased attack speed, because you really need a fine tune damage and attack speed buffs for the hammer for it to be good and for it to be fun because otherwise you're just slinging around this slow sturdy hammer and it's not fun at all and you're gonna put a conduit in there so for the tonics definitely use blitz assault and frenzy tonic that'll make the build go super hard without a doubt and all in all what we got going on in this regular dps build is a plus six conduit that's increased attack speed which is real nice Overpower that's 60% damage versus Staggered Behemoths, then Predator that's 35% damage, Rage 25% damage, another 20 from Berserker, and yes, Berserker does proc because this build does attack fast enough. And then we got Discipline so we can use Wild Frenzy and Rage. Knockout King comes from the weapon and that's a 15% stagger damage. And then Wild Frenzy for a 12.5 increased attack speed. So, as you can see, this build has great mods great buffs great damage buffs great attack speed buffs and it's really nice and like i said earlier don't forget about mighty landbreaker if you're using it or one of the other vent specials because you need to pop that down periodically so you can grant that buff to yourself and your party all right gamers so i hope you like this build it is super fun and i'm really loving this weapon especially the legendary healing ability don't forget to use it on yourself or for your team and hey if you like this video and you want to see more Please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button and click on that bell for notifications. If you have any questions or need any help, hit me up in the comment section. You know I always answer you guys. This is Hans signing out. Peace, y'all.